Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel and uh, welcome for another episode on how to install Open Source application on your server. I would like to thank everybody who are my subscribers who are following me on uh, my new website on YouTube, on Paperly and also on Zpanel CP. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to install a, the latest copy of Copperman uh, Photo Gallery. Here we are. We are on the website copperbaingallery.net. I'm going to uh, download the latest stable version and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I already got here the uh, file so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you what I done I double click on the file that I uh, downloaded and and I went to extract on my desktop now we're going to close this one here also we're going to delete that as I don't need it anymore and I'm going to use the uh, FileZilla program so I can upload the entire content of the folder inside by drag and drop in when that is done I'm dropping inside FileZilla waiting until he's been uh, finished I'm going to close this tab now and there's let's see this is the actual domain I'm going to use and it's going to be cms tutorial.tk forward slash php so it's going to be install.php and there we go we are on the copper bean installation page now there are two ways this this is the new uh, new one don't forget to read the license agreement you can choose the language another one if you are not if you want a lot easier than this I suggest you go here to the old type of installation I tell you what um, I'm going to use this one for now so um, it will be much easier for you it's very straightforward this one so the first thing I'm going to do is create the account for the admin in this case I'm going to type admin and as usual I'm going to create a database name and a user click here on database I'm going to say database there and I'm going to write gallery and I click on create also database again users and I'm going to type gallery again uh, by the way it doesn't have to be exactly the same you can put anything you really you want and I'm going to map to the database and press create I'm going to copy my password here and I'm going back to the installation now database name is Z admin gallery and the username is gallery password I'm going to paste whatever I copied 
Now, if you got image magic installed, you can add the path here. I don't have it, so I'm going to leave it and I'm going to press let's go. Before I do this, I just want to remove that. It's way there. Give it too many spaces. And I'm going to press let's go. Installation has been completed. And I'm going to press let's continue. And believe it or not, the actual uh, application has been installed. I'm going to log in with the information that I input earlier on with admin and my password. And I'm going to press uh, remember me here now so, and press OK to get inside the admin side of it. Anyway, here's just some news from the gallery, Coppermint Gallery. Go back to my gallery there. I can upload files. I can create logically because it's a new one. I'm going to create a new and new, uh, new album. And press OK. As you can see here. Then I can actually, as you can see, there's no error anymore. Maximum level size is one megabyte. Uh, logically, you can change this in the settings and configurations. That's image view. Logically, before you start to do anything, you you may you may make sure that you go to the config and configure everything. Don't forget this kind of a co uh, application can be automatically bridged with other uh, CMS, for example, PHP BB. Vbulletin, XM, Scoops, Mambo, MyBB, and if I remember correctly, anyway, even uh, uh, simple machines. The reason I seen somewhere uh, when you can actually bridge with WordPress too, I'm sure I seen somewhere uh, the bridging files where you can actually download the, the plugin or the module. So as you can see, everything's been installed. The information is here, PHP info. And that's it. You got how easily it is to install this application. I hope you enjoyed this uh, how-to video. And please don't forget to come over and subscribe to my channel. Uh, like it. And if you can, share it as much as you can. Don't forget, you can follow me again as well on the open source new website. Uh, where you can find all the tutorials. Here you find all the tutorials there. You can contact me for any reasons and you can actually subscribe as well to email where you can get emails with new videos when they come out. Thanks again and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Take care.